Hey guys, it's Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Today I'm going to talk about my new T-Mobile home internet. It's a, it's a hotspot and it uses the cell signal for internet. I'm going to compare that to my existing internet which is AT&T DSL. So my existing internet is about 25 um, megabits per second download and 6 megabits per second upload. This uh, new T-Mobile one, they don't really tell me what the speed is so I literally just get the box from uh, the delivery guy, I'm gonna open it up here and I'll show you quickly how we set it up and then I'll do some tests with it to see how it performs. Now, one note is I, I have some other videos out there about my Wi-Fi mesh system. So you can see to the right of the at and um, modem is my Asus main router there. And so uh, one of the things I wanna do is make sure that I can use this device just as a um, internet modem and not as a Wi-Fi router um, so I just want to, I want to turn all that stuff off and use my existing router setup um, because it spans multiple acres here. So I'll, I'll go through some setup here and uh, tell you what I think of it. All right, so it's kind of a reasonable size. It's definitely smaller than my AT&T setup. And now this one has no external antenna. Um, my brother actually set up at my uh, parents' farm, this is out in the countryside in Georgia, an AT&T um, cellular internet service and that one has an actual antenna you gotta place um, on the outside of the house. This does not. Now what is interesting with this is that it comes with a battery. So it actually has a backup battery um, which is a nice feature that way if you lose power you still have internet, um, you know, for at least all your devices that you have uh, batteries on. So that's kind of a neat thing here. Dad, what you doing, Dad? I'm putting together our new home internet modem. They call it a Wi-Fi gateway. Uh, what is this? That's a knife. Can we open it? Nope. Not allowed to. That's just for daddies. Okay, there we go. So this is on there. So basically it says just put the battery in and plug it in and give it some power. There's an on off switch here. For the sake of this, I have power over here. All right, so we plugged it in. The little red light is coming on. And then it has some lights on the top of here uh, to show you the, the battery, the Wi-Fi, and then the LTE uh, service. So I'll let it start up here. And then they actually recommend you use your smartphone, not your computer which seems a little backwards to me, but I'll, I'll do as they say, so. Okay, so it just took about uh, 30 seconds to a minute to get um, service, so now on the top, the front light is green, shows the battery's charging, because obviously I just got it. It says the Wi-Fi is active, and then it also has good LTE service. So I downloaded the uh, T-Mobile Home Internet app on my phone and then I need to go in here and change my Wi-Fi and I need to tell it to hop on to this new T-Mobile um, SSID so let me go ahead and do that I'll do the 5 gigahertz I gotta type in a password okay so I did that And now I'll go to man manage my service. So now we can see here, 
Jeez, phones are annoying. Okay, so now we can see here, I just set it up and it's telling me I have a weak signal. Um, and so let me, you know, it's gonna tell you things that you can do. So I might need to relocate, you know, if I look at my phone here, I have three to four bars typically. Uh, so I might have to place this, you know, I'll, I can, I'll play with where it goes. The, the beauty of it obviously is that it is, um, it is mobile, um, but I do need it to be within range of my main router here. So let me go now that I'm connected. All right, so I'm on that Wi-Fi, and then I'm going to go to speed test. And we'll just check to see how fast this internet is. So it's kind of funny because that's the exact same speed as my current internet. Almost to the T, it's maybe even slightly slower on upload. I'm, I'm normally a little bit closer to six um, megabits per second upload, but that's almost spot on to my current download. So, what I'm going to see is if I place this somewhere else where it gets a better signal, can I get my speed up? And that would that's really what I want to do is, um, you know, I was hoping to get closer to 50 megabits per second download at least. So let me go move this guy around and see if I can get some faster internet. So I just went around the house a couple of different places uh, to see if I could get it to show um, a better signal. And I'm up here actually on the third floor, it's a little loft area, but um, this one now shows a good signal versus the week I had uh, downstairs. So let me just run another um, test here for speed and see if that good signal quality changes my speed at all. So this is better. Now we're getting over 50 megabits per second, which is what I'm hoping. So this shows uh, definitely an issue with you know having the more built-in signal is that it's going to be more dependent on where it's at. And perhaps if you're in a smaller um, house, wow, so my upload is way better, 26. Um, so that's really good. So what this means, I'm going to play with this a little bit to find the right place to put it. So I just unplugged it. I wanted to test to see if the internet actually stays active or if it just um, keeps it connected because I heard some people say it does not stay active. So I'm just going to retest and make sure my internet is still connected. So it looks like it does work. I'm still getting a test. I'm actually doing um, a speed test just to make sure it looks like it's it's the same speed so it's not, it's not degraded or something. So that's kind of cool. So I'll, I'm not sure exactly how long the battery lasts. Um, and, you know, I haven't even charged it up and I've been up here playing with it a little bit. So it, it certainly um, will work as a nice backup system um, when your power goes out. And then uh, the other thing I want to figure out is can I use it as a um, just as a modem and use my existing Wi-Fi. So let me go back down to my office, plug it in and see if I can mess with the settings that allow uh, the Wi-Fi on it to turn off and it'd be just a network pass through and have my um, my ASUS setup be the router and uh, firewall and whatnot. Let's log in to the web interface. The mobile interface doesn't have a lot of settings. Basically you can change your Wi-Fi like uh, SSID or the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password uh, but that's about it. So if you want to see any more you need to actually go in here and um, go to the web interface. So the web interface is just kind of the more typical 192.168.1.1. And then you have to log in with the passwords that I just set up.
Okay, so uh, for this one it has two settings. One's basic and one's expert. The basic one just tells you if you have any parental control stuff active and then if um, your network status is good. And it does give you a quick little um, download of what your network looks like. So you can see on Ethernet, I have no devices. And then on Wi-Fi I have two, which is my computer and my phone. So that tells you your network map. Then you can go to status, it gives you some information on here, you know, this is where down in my office it, I get the weak signal, so I need to, to move it somewhere else. And then um, you can look at your stats for how much data you use, both download and upload. You can look at, um, you know, just the fact that you're connected, so if your internet has problems, you could check that. And then um, here's your Wi Fi settings that you can change that uh, real fast. And then here's some parental controls. So you could go in here. And you could add a new device. I'm sure um, you know you can say, "Hey, for my phone, I could call it um, this." And then I could go in here and I could add, add a schedule and say, "Hey, you know, for um, this device at eight o'clock at night until eight o'clock in the morning, don't allow internet." So that's one way that you could um, you could do that. You could also, I'm sure, block. Uh, probably certain devices on here uh, potentially actually it looks like you might not be able to yeah so it looks like it's just scheduled so that's not really parental control um, it's really just um, controlling internet but what I want to show is that you can go here to expert mode and then you can go in and change things which is what I want to do and that's for basically I want to turn off the Wi-Fi on this and have this just be a pass through to my main router so to do that I would go here to this NAT forwarding and then I will turn on DMZ so this I could turn on and then I could have it go just to a device so first I need to hook up my router to this and then I would select that that uh, host IP and that should send all of the internet traffic um, straight to my main router and then my main router is what's going to be the um, DHCP server, the firewall and whatnot. So I'll turn that on. I can activate that. The other thing I can do in here is, um, so I'm not gonna use any of these settings. I'm just showing you what's in there. But then they have some diagnostics that you can just ping devices and, and make sure things are working. But so here's the firewall. So I can um, disable the firewall on this device since I have another firewall on my ASUS router and then let's see the only other thing I wanted to mess with was to see if I could turn off the DHCP server all right here it is so yeah under the LAN settings I can turn off this DHCP server and that will stop this guy from trying to assign IP addresses so those are the settings I'm going to mess with. I need to hook this up to my router first, and then I'll disable DHCP server. I will do the NAT forwarding, and then I'll see if that works um, where I can effectively just hot swap from my AT&T modem to this modem, and the rest of my network and all my devices uh, won't know anything is different. All right, guys, it's been a couple days. Um, since I've had the T-Mobile set up, I've left it set up, I've turned off my AT&T. So I've only, only been using this T-Mobile internet for several days now, and I've been trying to watch the speed. I've done lots of speed tests on it. As you saw upstairs, if I connected directly to the Wi-Fi of the T-Mobile unit, I was getting pretty dang close to 60 megabits per second download and like 26 megabits per second upload which is double my download speed and like quadruple my upload speed that I have with AT&T DSL here. So I'm happy with that speed. Um, the downside I'll say is the signal seems to be changing. I'll go into the app and I'll, there's a cell tower connection uh, status information. It tells you your, um, your signal quality. And that has varied a lot. Even though I left the unit, you know, setting there in that uh, third floor window it's uh it it does change a lot my speed varies uh, as well a little bit and they they give you a disclaimer that your home internet speed might get throttled down or lower priority when the network is busy 
and I got this, you know, on Christmas Eve. So I've heard Christmas Day um, is one of the busier internet days because everyone gets new devices and, you know, especially with this uh, COVID era, perhaps they're doing a lot of video meetings as well with family. So the internet speed did drop down. Um, it was still reasonable, um, but it certainly dropped down. Uh, when it was busy, now um, we're outside of that little Christmas um, time, so we're a few days past it, and it is kind of back where it was before, where I'm getting 50 or so megabits per second download in, in that same 25, 26 upload. Now, the problem is, in my house, the only place I get a quote-unquote good signal is up there, and all of my home office stuff is down here on the first floor. So, what I've done is I actually have ethernet over power line uh, ran now from here up to the third floor and ethernet over power line you just plug it into your um, your wall outlet and it sends the you know uh, network data over your existing power line so I have that it does degrade my signal a little bit um, and I actually just order a new one uh, to try that my my, my second um, uh, Avenue is going to be a uh, Mocha adapter, so that's the um, Ethernet over coax. But that's maybe a, a different video. So, anyways, now that I have it set up and running, I have Ethernet over power line coming into my main ASUS router, and I'm getting about 35 megabits per second download up, down here. But I get the same, you know, 26 megabits per second upload. So what what that's telling me is that probably my Ethernet over power line adapter is probably being capped out at about 35 um, and it's, it's kind of a long run because it's a completely different circuit and then it goes all the way up to the third floor so I'm, I'm hurting a little bit on speed there so I'm going to try to address that but overall I've been happy with it and you know it's a free trial for 30 days and then if I don't like the service I can cancel it and I'll go back to my AT&T so for the meantime I still have my AT&T um, service I'm just not using it and I'm going to give this T-Mobile uh, several days here to figure out um, if it's robust and, and I like it. One thing for battery life, I, I did do a little bit of testing of that when I was running around the house um, with the, um, the T-Mobile unit. I had it unplugged for over an hour and the uh, battery percentage went down just about 10%. So I was kind of impressed. So it looks like that battery life would be at least six hours if not more and um, and so that's you know I think is is pretty good. It means if your power goes out, you know you'll have plenty of um, a battery uh, life there for at least any kind of um, intermittent power outage. Obviously, if you're out for days, you're you got to have a different solution. But you know it looks like uh, it's pretty good. the The biggest flaw, and this seems to be anything with with cell phones, is all about the signal quality. So you need to have um, good signal quality at your house and um, you know the downside to this like I mentioned before is it doesn't have an external antenna so you're relying on the unit itself the upside is that you know you can place it um, anywhere in your house fairly easily um, so long as you have a way to get um, Wi-Fi signal to to where you need it one thing to note is T-Mobile says that I have excellent 4G LTE service here in my house that's obviously not true the best thing I'm able to get up um, well above ground level is the um, is the good signal, and then there's very good and excellent. So I'm I'm uh, only three bars out of five on their um, on their rating. So you certainly have to take it with a grain of salt. Just because the website tells you you might have good coverage, you really need to get the unit and figure out how much um, signal quality you get, and that's gonna directly determine what speed you get. And that's probably why they don't uh, strongly advertise any kind of speed for you because it's going to be highly variable based off where you are and then even where you put the device in your house. So I hope you like this video guys. I will do a follow up video, uh, especially if you guys like and comment um, with any questions. And I'll tell you what I find out after using just this T-Mobile service for several weeks. I'll put up a new video um, explaining what I found with it, if I stuck with it, or if I went back to my uh, tried and true AT&T DSL internet.